and I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways. Today we hit up Lake Oishinensi near Kandestag to ride the Rodelbahn mountain toboggan and swim in the cool water of the mountain lake before heading to Greer to visit the incredible Geiger Museum and Cafe. P.S. Swiss cherries are amazing. Today we're going to go to Interlaken and pick up a hire car for seven people. Oh, Maltine, crunchy green. Yummy, yummy. We're just picking the car up and we're doing a little look for any scratches and dinks. The vistas on the drive to Kandersteg are gorgeous. Time to ride. Yeah. The mountain toboggan ride is absolutely amazing with a small lever that you pull to speed up and slow down so you can take in the incredible Bernese Oberland mountain range with surrounding pines. You can buy your tickets on arrival for four Swiss francs per ride or buy a bundle and ride up to five times. These things go pretty fast, so take care on the corners and slow it down a little. It really is such good fun, and if you want to film it, make sure you have a secure GoPro that is firmly attached to your body, as filming on phones is not allowed. Almost at the station. If you are lucky enough to visit Lake Oishinensi on a hot summer's day, it is a treat to jump straight in. Perfect temperature. And it really is not too cold when the sun is beating down on the lake. There are restaurant facilities lakeside, but we opted for a picnic in the woods and even got changed there without any issue. The colour of the water is such a pristine blue and video cannot capture just how immense this scenery really is. I think this ended up being our favourite part of the entire holiday. Why is there so many cows? We just swam across the... from over that side of the lake to come and find these cows. It's really nowhere near as cold as I expected it to be, however, we are both in wetsuits, so... Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Let's go and see these cows. It was incredible to see giant cows basking by the water and even paddling in the shallows. Just take care when swimming on that side of the lake as there is the odd cow pat beneath the shoreline. Hello. Nudie branch booties! Honestly, I can't recommend this beautiful place enough. Yeah, it was absolutely gorgeous. Now we're gonna jump back in the car and head to Greer. They sell beer and pretzels, and there is a mountain bus ride available to and from the lake for those who don't want to walk. <laughs> On the road again, burn wanked off, wanked off, burn wanked off. Greer, medieval town. You can check out the Geiger Museum and the Geiger Cafe. Greer holds a special place in my heart. And this is not my first visit here. This is my favourite destination to go calorie hunting. With what is in my opinion the best meringue, the best cream and the best chocolate on earth. There is a chocolate factory here and chocolatiers and I recommend the chocolate ice cream and the chocolate covered orange segments. Just look at these medieval streets paved with chunky stone. Nothing could better prepare you for one of the most sinister museums one can visit. For Greer is of course home to my favourite concept artist and painter, H.R. Geiger. 
His biomechanical works have been featured in so many major sci-fi movies and on album artwork for so many musicians. He is one of the most successful dark and strange creatives of the last century. The museum is filled with floor after floor of his dark artworks, but we warned many of the large paintings are quite sexually graphic and not for the faint-hearted. If you are interested in hardcore, metallic, biomechanica and science fiction from robots to aliens, then this is the place for you. Follow up the museum with a trip across the courtyard to the incredible Geiger Bar. The ceiling of this cafe is something to behold, and it will be the most memorable beer for any die-hard Geiger fan. It's just cool. I think six years since we first came here. Six or seven, six and a half no, probably. Six and a half, so we're married now and this was our first ever holiday that we came on. We've done loads of traveling since then, so it's like a real pleasure to have like an anniversary considering we just got married. Um, and yeah, we're back at the Geiger Museum and the Geiger Bar, which is just like a dream come true. The aesthetic of this bar from the chairs to the table legs is unreal. The coffee platter they serve here is one of my favorite treats on earth. With nice coffee, meringue, cold gruyere dunking cream and a shot of mystery liquor. I dream of this cream meringue combo when I leave gruyere. Then we ordered Geiger's branded absinthe, which was served with the traditional tools, including sugar and water. It was a funky little drink, strong though it was. You can see it's going cloudy. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Clink. <laughs> We finished our day with a trip to a local French restaurant to enjoy a cheesy tartiflette. Such a sweet little town, a medieval town carved into a mountain. The ancient landmarks surrounding the castle grounds look beautiful as the sun starts to dip. This is not my first trip here and I know it won't be my last. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and check out my channel for more videos in the Swiss mountain ranges. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways. Thank you for watching. <laughs>